when I get home from a hard day digging somebody else's garden, which by the way is far more lucrative than doing YouTube videos, I want to cook something that's quick, simple and tasty. So this recipe is quick, simple and tasty. I call it my quick and simple tasty pasta recipe. So we'll start with a pan, add in some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons is good, and turn on the heat. Add in a couple of cloves of crushed garlic, or garlic from a jar, or whatever, and stir around. After about 30 or 40 seconds, because you don't want the garlic to burn, you can add in a tin of chopped tomatoes, or some fresh tomatoes that you've chopped, or maybe some passata, it's up to you. You know, you stir, sizzle, sizzle, splashy, splashy. Add in some herbs like oregano, better teaspoonful will do. Add in some ground black pepper, a bit of salt and mix it all up. Now add in a drained can of tuna. Pick out any bits of label and break the tuna up. Turn the heat down a little bit here. Now I'm going to just let this cook gently for about 15 minutes which is time enough for me to put all my gardening tools away. Mmm, bubble bubble, sizzle sizzle. It's thickening up quite nicely. Now I'll add in two to three tablespoons of capers. If you don't know what capers are, then you need to get an education. If you don't like capers, then black olives is a good substitute. If you don't like black olives, then you're beyond help, I'm afraid. Now I'm just going to let this simmer for another five minutes before putting it onto the pasta of my choice. And today I choose spaghetti. Don't forget to add on some of your favorite grated hard Italian cheese, like Parmesan, for example. So there we go. It was quick, simple, and I guarantee you it's really tasty. You can add in other bits and pieces as you want. It's up to you. Join me next time, but then I suggest you do what I'm gonna do right now and that's chow down.